All right, ladies and gents, welcome back. This is part four of Space Chicken. Uh, in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much mimic what we did with the asteroids. And we're going to do that for the ammo, which the ammo is what you're going to collect and shoot with lasers later on in another video. Okay. Um, so that part's a little bit, you know, kind of easy. So we're going to do that real quick. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the plus. You're going to type in SC space. And you're going to find the, uh, excuse me, we've got to be under, ooh, hang on. Try that again. We want to be under artwork. And then we're going to go SC space. And you're going to find the ammo piece. Click and hold on that. Drop it outside. And we got to do a couple things to that. So the first thing is, if you remember, we put... Uh, two behaviors on the asteroid we had a down behavior and we had a rotate behavior we're going to do the same thing with the mo uh with just the movement down so if you go let's go to appearance first i'm going to rename this to just mo um, i'm going to turn solid off and i'm going to change the collider to be a circle since the, sh the shape of that is a circle anyways if you remember a polygon collider will really slow your computer down uh, eventually when you have too many pieces uh, especially for mobile or if you're you know playing on an iPad or something like that so it's best to keep the colliders pretty simple like a circle or a square um, or a box I should say um, and then the other thing is we want to we probably want to name ammo and we want to go into class and we want to start a new class and name that ammo and make sure that the ammo is in the ammo class okay so outside of that we have to add a behavior we're gonna add behavior we're gonna clear our search and we're gonna go to bullet we're going to speed down to, let's make this like 1.25 or something like that with a flow direction of 270. And you'll see that when I move this into the drawing here or into our game, when I hit play, our piece will move down at about that speed. Okay. So now this is our original one. We have other ones, you know, that we're going to clone and use the same cloner to do. So if you go into the events manager uh, and if you hit add new event, this one is going to be the clone ammo. And we'll do the exact same thing that we did in the last one. We have a system runtime repeat, and we're going to change the time. So system runtime repeat every, let's do it a little bit quicker, like 2.5 seconds. Uh, the cloner, excuse me, the cloner is going to clone clone an object and it's going to clone the ammo and then hit done okay so now these are off screen I'm gonna hit play here and you should see them start coming out at the top at different times okay that looks pretty good now the next thing we have to do is uh, is called a memory budget okay this is like a maintenance thing that you have to do in games what, what will happen is eventually after all of these clones come out through the game they have they have to go somewhere so they're gonna go down here and they're gonna keep moving forever and ever and after you have 20 30 40 asteroids down there it might slow your computer down because of all the memory that it's using uh, and that's why it's called memory budget so what we need to do is we need to put a uh, controller in the game so we're gonna we're gonna go to the plus we're gonna go to uh, basic shapes and we're gonna use an arrow Okay, and this arrow, I'm actually going to go into appearance here. I'm going to make it not a solid. Um, I'm going to rotate the image so that it faces 270. Just so that it makes sense. It could be any shape you want. Um, but this will make a little bit more sense if it's pointing here. And I'm going to put this just here in our game because I want all of these things to stop and delete themselves once it reaches that arrow. Okay, so as an example, if we go up to the event manager here and we close the other ones that we've already used, this one is going to be delete asteroid. In delete asteroid, you'll use the asteroids class. Uh, position is below object and is below the arrow. So when everything in the asteroid class is positioned, or I should say when anything in the asteroid class is positioned below the arrow, the object that is affected will remove clone on itself hit done so now you see where my arrow is so when those asteroids reach this point they should stop and delete themselves that way they don't just keep going into the abyss so let's see what happens perfect 
Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with the ammo. So go back into events, close this one, add new event. This one is going to be delete ammo. Now these are the irrelevant ones because you didn't get hit by the asteroid uh, and you didn't collect the ammo. So they're just what happens to the ones that go below the screen that you can't see basically. Okay, so choose an object. We're going to go to uh, asteroid, I'm sorry, ammo class. We're going to do position is below arrow and then choose an object we're going to do um, the affected uh, selected instance affected object from class mo clone remove clone and then hit done okay so let's hit play and let's just make sure that both of these do delete themselves at around where my arrow is that's awesome perfect okay so now all you want to do is you want to just take this and move it below because you're not going to see any of that anyways and they should go when you hit play all the way through the screen as if they're going forever but they will be deleted shortly after and that's it all right so this was video four i'm glad you guys are watching and going through hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one thanks a lot Gotta catch